All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we are finding the determinant of a three by three matrix using cofactor expansion. So we got this matrix A here, that's three by three. And when we wanna find the determinant of it using cofactor expansion, what we do is we pick one row, it can be any row or it can be any column, and we, uh, we can expand out this formula here. So I'll apply it to the first row. And so the way that we come up with this expression here is if you look at this, we have A, B, C, it's one of the rows, we picked the first row here, and it alternates positive, negative, positive. So no matter which row we pick or which column we pick, first of all, it will alternate positive, negative, positive. But when we're looking here at what we're multiplying it to, let's look at the first term here. We have A times the determinant of a two by two matrix that is E, F, H, I. And then here we have E, F, H, I. So the way that we get this first term is we take the letter that we've chosen, and we draw a straight line, basically square lines coming out from it. And whatever's left over is the little sub matrix that we're going to be taking the determinant of that we multiply to this. Um, when we look at the next element over or the next term over, we have B. And if we cross out everything that's in line with it, then uh, we have D, F, G, I. And that's exactly what we have here that we're taking the determinant of the two by two matrix that is formed with these elements D, F, G, I. And lastly, when we have element or the last term here based around this element C, if we cross out everything that's in line with C, then we're left with this submatrix D, E, G, H, and that's what we're taking the, the determinant of for the two by two that we eventually multiply to the value of C. Now, this works if you pick any row or any column. Um, so we could have picked, let's pick the, the the row or the column over here, the far right column. So what we also could have written is that the determinant of A it could be equal to C times the, well, let's look at this, uh, the determinant of this submatrix, so it'll be D, E, G, H. So we can write that in, D, E, G, H. So we start with a positive term, then negative, we come down to F if we crossed out these guys, we're left with A, B, G, H. So let's do that. And then the last term, we set it positive again, and we're gonna pick I, we're gonna cross out those guys, and we're looking at this little matrix here, A, B, D, E. So we would multiply that out. So we could have done this for any row or any column, as long as you follow the same method, you'll be ending up with this exact same answer. So if we apply some numbers to this, um, let's say that our actual matrix has the values at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so we want to figure out what the determinant of A is. So element A is 1, and then we multiply it by the sub little, uh, the determinant of this sub matrix here, 5, 6, 8, 9. And then we have the next term as negative, so we have element B is 2. And for DFGI, DFGI, we have four, six, seven, nine. And then lastly, for the third term, which positive value, element C is the number three, and then DEGH is DEGH. So we have four, five, seven, eight. All right, so now we wanna simplify this. So we're going to have one times the determinant of this two by two matrix, and the determinant of that would be five times nine minus six times eight. So five times nine is uh, 45, and minus six times eight, that is 48. All right, the next term here, we have negative two times the determinant of this, so it'll be four times nine minus six times seven. So that's going to give us 36 minus 42. And then the last term here, we have positive three times this determinant, and the determinant of this guy is four times eight minus five times seven. So we get 32 minus 35. All right, so if we just simplify that again, we just get one times negative three minus two times negative six and plus three times negative three. So that all just really simplifies down to negative three plus 12 minus nine. And this determinant, the determinant of A, actually ends up being zero in this case. 
And if you remember from the last video, that's okay. The determinant can be any real number, but if it is zero, we call it a singular matrix, and it's, uh, it turns out that this matrix is not invertible. But we'll get to matrix inverses uh, in a few videos from now. Okay, so I just wanna show you that also we could have found the determinant using uh, column three instead of row one. Like I said, we can use any of the rows or any of the columns as long as we follow this method of alternating positive, negative, positive and then multiplying the element by the determinant of the sort of sub matrix that it makes. So let's just work through this. Element C, that was the number three, times the determinant of D, E, G, H. So we have four, five, seven, eight. Minus F, which is in this position, so it is six, times the determinant of A, B, G, H. So we got A, B, G, H, that's one, two, seven, eight plus i, which is the value here, it's number nine, and then times the determinant of a, b, d, e. So we have a, b, d, e, that's one, two, four, five. All right, so if we just again do the exact same thing, we expand this out, we get three times this determinant of this two by two matrix, which is four times eight minus five times seven. So that gives us 32 minus 35 minus six times the determinant of this two by two matrix, which is one times eight minus seven times two. So we get eight minus 14, and then plus nine times the determinant here, which is one times five minus two times four. So five minus eight. All right, so we get three times negative three minus six times negative six, plus nine times negative three, and that's gonna give us negative nine plus 36 minus 27 and minus 27 minus nine. Yeah, that gives us exactly what we were expecting, the determinant of matrix A to be equal to zero. So if you wanna try this method with a couple other rows or columns, you're gonna find, uh, as long as you don't make any errors along the way, then you're gonna be finding that the determinant of this matrix, no matter how you calculate it, is going to be equal to zero.